Hello everyone, Zeke here again talking about speed and time. For this topic, we are taking a step back from the tactical side and taking a look at the map as a whole. What I mean by speed is how quickly can ships get around, and what I mean by time is how long can a single game last on average. Let's first take a look at speed. Currently, in the dev access, the max speed you can go at warp in a straight line is 299,000 999 kilometers per second. During a turn, that speed is possible to exceed 300,000 kilometers a second. Now in order to reach the speed, you must be a long ways away from the planet in this system. By the way, the sun is currently just a light bulb in space, no gravity or even a solid surface. Obviously it'll change, but it's just a fun little mention since I did fly through it. As of current, I'm not sure if it's distance to a planet or strength of gravity that slows you down. I state gravity as if that is indeed the case, then you will slow down sooner near large planetoids like gas giants than you would near an Earth-sized planetoid and hardly anything within an asteroid belt. This does indeed matter since the system will be true to scale and have dozens of planets and moons. How will they be placed and whether or not they will move is another thing as well. Will the planets be spread out over the entire system or relatively close together? As the answer will determine the length of the game, but we'll get into that next. Now how fast should ships go during warp? Honestly, capital ships should have the fastest warp speed, while smaller vessels move at one fourth to one fifth their speed. I state this as this will always give capitals a strong advantage, more so to the carrier as it is a mobile spawn point. They could also add in an ability, stock or purchasable, that creates a warp field around the capital that pulls in all small ships near it into warp at its speeds, further allowing them to be more than just a heavy hitting tank of a ship, but support capable as well. Though for ships like the carrier being more specialized with this type of role, the warp field for other capitals would be rather small. I will talk more about possible support capabilities of capitals in another video. So, just how fast should a ship be capable of moving at max warp? Well, if we take the full system, remove all orbital bodies, and flew through the whole diameter of the system, starting at max warp of a capital ship, maybe 30 minutes? I say this because it'll probably take 1 to 10 to get from planet to planet, pending the distance. And while I know people will want to get to the action fast, it makes combat more strategical overall. By this I mean carriers will be needed more to respond all your fighters and have lots of support ships for your fleet instead of just spamming only a few types. Plus, the defender station could have its hangar base so damaged that no ship can spawn from it and will have to come in from a planet over just to get back into the fight. Having a good mix of strategy and tactics are all based on the basics of how the game works after all. And now, about time. It is stated by the devs that they intend for the game to last days before one side finally wins and the server starts over. Now I do love the fact that a faction can indeed win, but they said it would last days. Well, how long do they mean by days? Well, anything less than two weeks would fall within that category. If this is the case, I hope they add in multiple servers for people to play as I see a game like this would be a playground for guilds and the like. For now, let's just look at what can happen on one of these servers. So with three factions spread out over a large map, each with the same available ships and equipment, victory will come down to a few things. Overall strategy and tactics of the faction. How will the players communicate within the faction? Overall numbers. These are the three main things that will win a game. The last fact of overall numbers was something I learned in Planet Side 2 as players would often switch sides during the game just to join the winning team. In that game, it pretty much made playing it unfun as staying on a single faction became pointless with 90% of the population was just on one faction. As short as Inove seems to think these games will be might actually prevent that, but nonetheless, I hope they make it to where you have to stay on the same faction until the game ends. Not to mention, on downtimes, factions naturally become unbalanced due to people's schedules. In Infinity Battlescape, during these times, factions can fall hard and never recover. Now let's say everyone stays in the factions they joined, and all the factions are even in population. What else will affect time? We've already stated speeds of ships. Another would be how quickly ships and stations fall. 
The whole points and armor ratings of ships and stations will be a big point in how long the game will last. I'm hoping that different servers will have different settings for people who want longer games and those who want shorter. I'm talking about official servers and not player owned. Player owned will definitely change many things that are left up to the hosting players so we will leave them be. The final thing that will affect the time of the game will be the number of stations in the game and how long it will take them to repair or rebuild. There are multiple types of stations, and I don't claim to know them all, but how many of these stations will there be? The more there are will reduce the number of people per fight, as they would need to split up. This would increase the time per game. While the opposite will make all fights larger, and all ships will die quicker, further reducing the length of the game. On a final note, will there be any important stations like a faction HQ, which would be the main target to destroy, or will victory be completely taking over slash out all the stations capable of spawning ships? With all these factors, I now ask, how long do you think or want the game to last? Well, I want longer games, most will not. I do like my space operas, so I'm hoping for a server, official or player, that lasts at least a month? As always, please leave your thoughts and ideas in the comments below, and until then, help keep space epic.